This is a Hickok electronic volt ohm capacity milliammeter model 203. I picked this up a few years ago and I thought it was about time to see if I can't get it working. Hickok is supposed to be good quality. That's one reason why I picked it up and I also like the early electronic meters. Here's a closer look at the front of this meter. And here's the back of the meter. This sticker is on the bottom of the cabinet. And here's my first look at the inside of this meter. And the very first thing that I noticed was the rotary switches are all ceramic. And it looks to me like the contacts are silver. It's really dusty on the inside, so of course I took some time to clean off the dirt and dust and also the contacts. Now here I flipped it over so you can see the bottom and the two batteries which are very badly corroded. And I'm wondering if these batteries just might be the ones that came with this meter. I have no idea. But it is interesting that on the batteries it says for industry not designed for retail trade. Now here's a look at the inside of the meter where the tubes are. That tube on the right is a 0D3 and that is a regulator tube. And here you can see that when I did apply power to this for testing, you can see that the tube glows on the inside. Here's the back view after repairs and after cleaning. And here is a tube layout of the back view. Now at the upper left you can see the 6X5 and there's another one on the right hand side. Those are rectifier tubes. We've already talked about the 0D3. It also has a 6SK7 that is uh, usually an RF amplifier in a radio or IF amplifier in a radio. And below that it has a twin triode tube, the 6SN7. And quite often you find those in audio amplifiers. Now mostly I cleaned the chassis, all the contacts, and did a little lubricating. But I did go ahead and replace the electrolytic capacitor. I opened up the ground and I put some shrink tubing on the wire so it wouldn't short anything out. And I put this new electrolytic capacitor in its place. Also, I installed new batteries. The DC probe need to be repaired. It was well worn where it comes out of the meter. And unfortunately, the black insulator 
broke. So I kept the pieces and went ahead and made my connection. And I just super glued the round part that shows onto the wire just for looks. And on the back side here, I used a tie wrap so there's no way that you can pull the wire and do any damage to the connections that I made. I have this meter set up on the DC scale and it's set to scale 3 and here's a one and a half volt battery and it reads right at one and a half volts. Now I'm going to change this to the ohm scale. This is a 120 ohm resistor. And it reads 120 ohms. This is really a very, very nice meter. This is a very high quality meter and I am glad that it's in working condition now and I'm sure I'll be using it quite a bit.